Hello, I am Aaron Sauer, and I am an investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board. Typically used to save time, intersection takeoffs are a common practice in aviation, especially general aviation operations. However, pilots may not fully understand the potential risks associated with conducting intersection takeoffs. If an aircraft experiences a system or engine malfunction while conducting an intersection takeoff, the available runway remaining to abort the takeoff or perform an emergency landing is reduced or eliminated, resulting in greater risk of injury or aircraft damage. In this accident, the pilot elected to perform an intersection takeoff with about 2,570 feet of the available 6,179 foot runway. Shortly after takeoff, the engine lost power and the pilot attempted to turn back for an emergency landing. The airplane impacted parked vehicles near the departure end of the runway. Had the pilot used the entire runway for takeoff, there likely would have been sufficient available runway to land the airplane following the power loss. The NTSB has investigated other accidents that may have been prevented if the pilots had used all of the available runway. The NTSB encourages pilots to do your takeoff homework, allow adequate time for pre-flight preparations, and taxiing to eliminate time pressure to conduct an intersection takeoff. Know your aircraft's takeoff and landing performance limitations in the event of a required aborted takeoff or emergency landing. Communicate your plan with yourself and your crew. Do not feel obligated to accept an intersection takeoff if offered by air traffic control. For most takeoffs, use the full available runway length to increase your margin of safety. Lastly, recognize that using anything less than the full length of the runway is accepting a higher level of risk.